So I've wanted to review this show for a long time, but to be honest, it's hard to do it spoiler free as any of you who have watched it would know. A couple of disclaimers, I've not watched the British one, I plan to, but for now I'm just going to talk about this Kevin Spacey one and it's all going to be spoiler free. Cool? Good. Kevin Spacey is Congressman Frank Underwood, a man possessed with a ruthless desire for power. We watch this villain protagonist climb his way up the political food chain, unflinchingly disposing of anyone who stands in his way. He also likes making hair curling speeches to, well, us beyond the fourth wall. From the lion's den to a pack of wolves, when your fresh meat kill and throw them something fresher. I really, really enjoy this show. It's pretty much just the backstabbing political scheming King's Landing parts from Game of Thrones, except it's American politics and not a medieval fantasy land, but also it's a little bit more complicated than that. Let's face it, Kevin Spacey carries this whole show. You know it, I know it. Without him, this show would be boring to watch. I mean, really, that's kind of a dumb criticism to make on the service. Like, what would Doctor Who be without the Doctor, eh? And so already I'm brought to my first criticism of the show is that Kevin Spacey's character is the only really interestingly written character, the only one with real personality. Every other person in the show plays it super seriously without any flair. Maybe that's a writing problem because I think the acting is incredible in this show, but no one is written to the same level of intrigue as Frank Underwood is, right? Don't want this being just shitting on the show's great supporting cast because they are great. Right, main standouts of course being Kate Mara, Mahershala Ali, Michael Kelly and Robin Wright as Claire Underwood. Yet, every moment without Spacey is a moment you're waiting for him to return. He dominates every scene he is in, he commands and he controls with just his voice alone. But without that, I start to turn off. Season 1 is a great introduction to this and Season 2 just makes a habit of pulling the rug from under you. However, it's not easy to follow if you're not intrinsically familiar with the US political system and all its jargon. Did you fall asleep during a scene Frank Underwood wasn't in? Whoopsie daisy, you missed the plot. It's a lot of talking and it's very much the kind of TV that you as a child would never be able to understand the appeal of. I had to educate myself on US politics extensively to enjoy this show. I think that's a good thing in the end for the brain, but you know, I'm here to lead, not read. I honestly can't give you individual episode ratings for this show since it all blurs into one red, white and blue memory. That's probably because I binged the shit out of it because this is one of the most Morris shows I've watched. It just drags you in for the whole weekend, you're just this fly on the wall in the White House where every secret dirty dealing you can imagine to be happening within those walls in Washington DC is all but confirmed before your eyes. It's addictive, yet 2017 has probably ruined this show for newcomers. Nothing in this show can match the political shit show of the past year and so will almost certainly be disappointing to anyone who is expecting as such life is truly stranger than fiction. Season 3 is disappointing with a whole lot of nothing happening because I don't think the writers knew what direction they wanted to take. Season 4 is better, they work out what they couldn't in Season 3 and I'm still watching it so that's good. Season 5 starts great but gets lazy with its writing. It's at this point where they should be looking to end it but they're keeping it going and they shouldn't. The show is called House of Cards, right? Again, I'll say it, I really like this show. Many other people who like their politics will too. Either that or it'll bore your bloody socks off and confuse the shit out of you. Chances are it'll probably do both. So yeah, awesome, awesome, okay, good, good, yeah. And that's it, thank you very much for watching, if you like this video then please subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on my future reviews, donate to me on Patreon to support the channel, but for now I will see you later.